the new Shopify theme horizon has just been released. If you're building a new Shopify online store with this new Shopify theme and you're wondering how to add color swatches to your products, boy, you have come to the right place. In today's video, I will quickly show you how to display these color swatches for free. You know what else is quick? So here in the browser, we're back to our online store. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is to prepare your products. So I do have here a couple of images with different colors, black, yellow, and white, which is by the way, the shirt that I'm wearing right now. If you want to try it on, order that in a weekly how that shop link is in the description below. It's actually pretty nice. Now the first thing that we're going to do is to install the Shopify theme horizon. So let's just go to the online store and in the themes page, we make sure that we have it installed. So here I have the horizon theme as the current theme. If you don't have it yet, you can just scroll down and you should find the horizon theme here in the popular free themes section. Otherwise, you can just go to the themes.shopify.com and then install it from there. Okay, so I have it already. I don't have to do anything else. Now we can go to the products page and create a new product. So here, click add product and we can just call this product weekly how the shirt. That's it. If you want, you can just type whatever you want here. Maybe we can just AI generate a description for my weekly how t-shirt, which is by the way, very comfy to wear. It is very hot in Paris, but with weekly how shirt, I am very fresh. <laughs> generate. <laughs> Experience the ultimate comfort with weekly how t-shirt designed to keep you. <laughs> Let's just keep it. <laughs> I love it. And here in the media section, this is where we're going to upload the images that we had earlier. So let's just open the file explorer and then just drag all of this and drag and drop it here. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is just set the price for this product. I'll just set this to 29.99 and the compare at price is just 49.99. Very cheap. The next thing that we're going to work on is the inventory. We need to set this to a number more than zero because otherwise it's just going to be out of stock. So we need to set this to just, for example, 99. This one, 99 as well. And finally, here we have the variance. This is where we're going to add the color of our product. So let's just click add options and then select color. And then we have here the white and yellow. It's surprising that it actually detect the color of the product because earlier we uploaded like all of these images and it detected the color white and then the yellow. It unfortunately didn't detect the um, black, so we need to manually add them. So here we can just click this and then add another color and that's going to be black. There you go. Click done. And that's pretty much it. We can just continue here and then change the image. For the white, we will select the white t-shirt. For the yellow, we will select the yellow t-shirt, obviously. And for the black one, We'll select the black t-shirt or the black weekly how t-shirt and that's it that's all you need to do you can just click save and we can finally view this in our online store we can just open the catalog page and if we scroll down here we have the product and we also have here the color swatches as you can see if we change this to yellow it should change the image we also have here the color black and here we have the black t-shirt. But notice the black and then the yellow shirt is uh, sold out. So we can just fix that by going back to the product page. And then here in the variance, we just need to change the value of this available column to a number more than zero, to a digit greater than zero. And then click the bulk edit. And here we have the available and then the on hand. We can just change this to 99, 99, and that's it. Click save and we can go back to our product page refresh the page and now we've changed this to white black yellow and there you go it's no longer sold out and that's it that's how easy it is to use color swatches for products with color variants in previous shopify themes you had to code this manually but now it's practically built in and ready to go so big shout out to shopify for making this so much easier you know what else is easy like I said, subscribing to the channel. It's literally just one click and you're subscribed to the channel. Seriously though, if you wanna see more videos like this, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below and like this video if you enjoyed it. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.